Food is solid. Burrito and tacos are bomb. The drinks, though, bunch of leaves. That's a new one. Well, hey, I've got more funny and crazy bar reviews this time from Cancun, so get ready to laugh and cringe. Cancun, Mexico, great vacation destination, great beaches, but also has great bars, but not all of them have the best reviews. So what happens south of the border? Find out as we check out these real bar reviews in Cancun. I would say stay away from the blue drink. Apparently one of these can light your entire soul on fire. That sounds like a good night to me. Watch out for this place if you're a big guy or a little bit overweight. I went there yesterday and a waiter walked up to me immediately and said, you need to use two chairs because you're too fat. What morons run this place? We were three couples in our 60s and had okay lunch and drinks. When we asked for the check, they plopped cheesy photo albums of naked girls into the hands of our ladies. Crappy porno when it's time for the tip. WTF. I really do enjoy going here, but yesterday I thought I was in a Holiday Inn in Cleveland. The music was not the normal genre, which was a disappointment, more like a lounge act. Don't come here, just don't do it, unless you want really good onion rings because they're really good, but just do that, then leave. Yeah, go to the bar for the onion rings? Not to mention the murder that just happened on the grounds and clearly played with the family members' feelings by asking them to come in to discuss insurance details and then brushing them off, trying to sweep it under the rug. Law and order, Cancun, dun dun. I asked the crew where we were supposed to sit. The crew member just shrugged shoulders. 15 bucks to get in gets you a couple cooling cocktails that will remind you of how desperate you were for cheap booze in high school. Liver still recovering. The next thing that happened was a surprise. I read it online before, but never would have thought it would happen to me. The waitress came by and told me the police officer saw me peeing across the street in public and have to take me to the station and pay a fine. First of all, I never left the table since I arrived, and then they have security camera, but I bet they are probably not working. So I asked the police officer politely, do you have a video of me in the act? He said no, I need to take you to the police station. I didn't even get a chance to eat the food we ordered and ended up packing it all up. Just to make a long story short, I ended up paying off the cops to avoid going to the police station or a ride in the patrol car. Whew, that is some absolutely horrifying corruption right there. On another note, the restrooms are filthy and there is a cat walking around your table. Horrible place, looks like a cheap cafeteria. The sound was so loud, was uncomfortable, I have to put something in my ears in order to be able to eat there. I get a death threat from the supervisor blank. He promised me a deal with Dom Perignon. However, he forced me to pay extra and said if I do not pay, he will get me locked up in prison and gave me death threats. My friends and I were offered cocaine from the employees. Excuse me? And finally, I think I'll stick to the Jersey Shore. And that's it. Those are real and crazy bar reviews from Cancun posted online. Whew, some of these reviews, I was reading these online here and I found some of the best of the best to share with you guys and they are crazy. Go ahead though, they're real reviews. You can find them on Yelp. Now, once again, I help withheld the name of the places because I don't want to get sued. We're not here trying to like call anybody out or give bad reviews. I'm just trying to share the funny with you because you know that's what I do here in the big YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, click that like, subscribe button down below because lots more review shows, lots more games, lots more fun right here each and every week. I hope if you decide to take a trip to Mexico, you'll be nice and safe. I've been there before. It was fine. Didn't have any of these crazy experiences and I hope you don't either. Just as you're hearing your friends saying thanks for watching. Good luck out there and I'll see you next time, I hope.